it's Annie, and today I'll be walking you through all of my plants in this plant tour. First up is my gorgeous, gorgeous girl, my Marble Queen Pothos. <laughs> she was one of my first plants and she's been through like everything, y'all. Like I went on vacation, she was barely watered, I came back and she was still alive. Don't know how she does it. Next up are my mini Monstera sisters. We got the older sibling who has suffered tremendously, had root rot like three times and is still somehow here. And the younger sister who gets all the attention and all the love from mama and is thriving. Mama obviously learned a lot after the first one. And here's everyone and their mom's favorite plant, the one that gets all the internet attention. Here are my Monstera Deliciosas. And this one I've had for about two years now. It's giving me lots of new growth, but only one fenestration leaf. God damn it. <laughs> and this other one is doing quite well. And so I'm planning on repotting it soon. So stick around and you'll see. This is my tiny little umbrella tree. shawty has got a big heart, I'm telling ya. I heard the leaf fingers capture positive energy and we all know we need lots of that. So I got an even bigger tree. Cause I mean, come on, positive energy ain't gonna be collecting itself here. And here is the best thing Ikea had to offer. Not the furniture, not the meatballs, but yes, the $20 Bird of Paradise. I named it Charlie after Charlie Parker, the jazz saxophonist. Why you may ask? He was named Bird and this is a Bird of Paradise. Get it? <laughs> Next, we have the ladies that love being ignored, ZZ and Snakey here, the introverts that love being around but don't like too much attention. They'll come to the party, but they don't really like to drink. So throw her in the dark, growth, no water for months, growth, ignore and block her and she'll still be growing and glowing. Look at those shiny leaves, damn girl, you go. Okay, <laughs> this is embarrassing, but this is what's remaining from this. Um, I accidentally left her in a room with dry conditions and direct sunlight and her leaves started to shrivel up but she's better now and she's back on her feet so hopefully she'll be better soon. Look, new growth! See? Now something about this girl is just so, ah, it's so satisfying. It took her less than a year to get this long and that's what I call constant growth girl. See if only I stuck to my gym commitments for this long. Now, this spider plant here was a gift from my friend's mom, shout out to Joanne's mom. She propagated her own plant, waited for it to get this big before gifting it to me, and I found it to be like the cutest thing ever, I love her. Monstera adansonia, aka the plant whose holes resemble what a lactose intolerant person cannot eat. She's unique, divine, and a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Maybe the one plant that I can't get enough of and I've tried over and over again. I've had three pilias in the past at my old house and they all died. I even propagated them in hopes that I'd save them, but nope. But I decided to try again and this time in a new home and it's been doing so well, finally! All these pilias actually came from one pot and I ended up separating them into different pots so they could grow even bigger. Last but not least, my succulents. Succulents were like the first kind of plants I took care of growing up and I was like, what, 13? I didn't really have enough money to buy a lot of succulents, so I'd go to Home Depot, pick up the leaves that these plants would drop, bring them home, propagate them, and then whole succulents would grow from them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how your kid can start their crazy plant collection for absolutely freaking free. up this little plant tour and plant repotting video. I've always loved watching plant tour videos from other people, so hopefully you guys enjoy this too or find it helpful in some way. And if you guys have any plant advice for me, let me know. I'm still figuring out how to be a better plant mom and take care of my plants better, so anything helps. I'm definitely on the lookout for more plants as well, so go ahead and suggest your favorite plants down below. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!